Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at our Kua NV 2.0 2 bike platform rack on our 2022 Tesla Model 3. The Kua NV is one of my favorite bike racks because it has that great weight capacity for your heavy electric bikes. It has that really easy to use front wheel mount. It is a very smooth and good looking bike rack. In fact, you have different color options with this. And what I have is the gunmetal gray with the orange accents. You can also get this as metallic black or even matte black without the trail dock repair stand. So we'll talk about those different specs and different features. But we're going to focus on our Tesla Model 3 today. That way you can see how it interacts with our Tesla. And that will help you make the best decision for you, your different types of bikes, and your vehicle. The first feature we'll take a look at is the tilt away feature. So we have this easy to access handle here. You're going to want to pull that lever and then just let the bike rack glide down to a tilt. Now it is a heavy bike rack, so keep that in mind. But why would you tilt your rack away with the bikes on? Well, that's if you want to open up the trunk. So as you can see here, plenty of clearance between our trunk door, our pedals and our handlebars allowing us to reach in there grab whatever we need once we have we just press that button door closes you move over to the front now notice with this really low ground clearance you still have clearance from the bottom of the rack to the ground but in this case i recommend just using the bikes themselves to lift up on the rack until it catches into place and then you're ready to hit the road well, this has a 60 pound weight capacity, which is impressive because then for your heavy e-bikes, this is going to be a great option for you. Now, while on that side, you also have a heavier rack. So just remember, if you want to tilt it away, lift it back up and you're maxing out at 60 pounds, that's also going to be the weight you're going to have to lift up. Now, the way this holds on to our bike is we have two different touch points. The first is our front wheel mount and I love pretty much any bike rack that has that front wheel mount because it just makes life easier. Whether you have a carbon fiber frame or a women's bike or a step through frame or a kid's bike, because of that front wheel mount, you don't have to worry about getting separate adapters. Also, it's a very quick and easy process of strapping things down. Speaking of straps, that's going to be our rear wheel strap in the back. This is what's holding our rear tire down. To release it, to take off the bike, you just press that lever and then lift up on the strap and then just move this out of the way. This actually moves back and forth for those different wheel bases. Then you go over to the front and then you hold on to the frame as you press this button, lift up on the hook and then push it out. Once that hook is out of the way, then it's just an easy process of grabbing your bike, then you're ready to hit the trails. With the bike out of the way, let's take a closer look at the rack itself. So we have this rear strap, and this goes back and forth to accommodate different wheelbases, with the maximum wheelbase being of 50 inches long. That strap goes around, secures that wheel. Notice this length of the strap though, Usually you can carry up to three inch wide tires, although you get one included strap adapter kit for your fat bike tires of up to five inches. Now at the end of each tray, you're also gonna get an integrated cable lock and that allows you to secure each bike as you are on the road. Moving over to the front cradle. Notice how we have those grooves for those different tire widths as well. And then we have our front wheel mount and this secures that front wheel but also folds down to be nice and neat. Now we're going to take a length measurement and remember that this will change depending on what type of hitch you have. I have the stealth hitch on our Tesla Model 3 today which means you have a lot of clearance when it comes to length. So measuring from that plastic bumper to the end of the bike rack by our trail dock repair stand that sits at 39 inches of length. So that's a measurement to keep in mind when you're backing into your garage 
or trying to park into a really tight spot. Don't forget that you now have a bike rack as well as two bikes behind you. Now where I would get worried is gonna be ground clearance. And that's because your vehicle doesn't have much. So measuring at the end of the rack to the ground, it sits at 17 inches, but compare that measurement to the shape to the ground and that's only seven and a half inches. So any accessory you have with your Model 3, please try to get a shank rise just like what we have here. Now, what if you're not planning on going for a bike ride just yet, but you also don't wanna take your bike rack off, especially given that this is kind of a heavy bike rack. What you can do is you can fold the Kuat NV up. Remember that lever we pulled earlier? We'll pull that again, but this time lift up on the rack. It's gonna glide to a stop at the portable or compact position. Taking some measurements again, for this bike rack in this position, we're gonna take a look at closest point. Closest point is gonna be measured from, I'd like to say our bumper to the front wheel mount here, and we have five and a half inches of clearance, plenty of clearance there. Length now added to the back of our vehicle is from the plastic bumper we measured earlier to the tray, 13 inches. It sticks out further at this um, anti rile knob, and that's gonna be 20 inches of length. So big difference compared to when this is folded down, you'll want it in this position when you're just planning on driving around town and not taking up too much space. But what is it like living with a Kuat NV behind your Tesla Model 3 all the time? Well, notice that we can open up our trunk, which is awesome because then we're not limited to our storage space, even with a bike rack on. With it folded up like this, obviously our rear window is completely visible. Our tail lights are visible as well. Now our license plate sits right here at the top of our tray. And our backup camera is kind of covered by our trail dock. But with the way the Tesla camera systems are set up, as well as with how much space there is between the rack and the vehicle, you should still be able to see the view behind you. Also, with it folded up like this, you have access to the trail dock. Now you don't have that much clearance, so if you do wanna use this, definitely bring it into the upright position. That way you can repair your bikes while you're on the trail or in your garage. Now I mentioned earlier that we have the two inch self hitch installed on our Tesla Model 3. And that's why we have the two inch version of the Kuat NV installed into it. You can also get an inch and a quarter version if you have an inch and a quarter hitch receiver. So make sure to get the correct bike rack to match. It's a tool free install. It pops into your hitch. You have a hitch pin and a lock. That lock is key to like to the cable locks you're gonna find at the ends of your trays. That way you only need to use one key to access the entire system. And with it being a tool free install, you do have this knob here. You just turn that knob. It extends a ball cam on the inside of your shank, creating an anti-rattle effect. And if you do not have the strength to do it with just your hands, you also have a tool included with the rack. So let me demonstrate how the anti-rattle effect works. After I tighten everything down, I'm gonna shake our bike rack back and forth to try to simulate that road movement and vibration. This is an electric vehicle, so it's very heavy. So there really isn't any movement at all, which is good. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Now lastly, we're going over some full speed bumps and we can see here the up and down action and this will just be like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. So my personal thoughts about the Kuat NV is this is a great pairing with the Tesla Model 3 if you have extra heavy e-bikes or electric bikes. If you don't have e-bikes but you do like those nice features and the nice look of the Kuat NV, you may want to consider something like the Kuat Sherpa instead. That one is lighter, more compact, doesn't have the same weight capacity, so it is really depending upon 
what types of bikes you're carrying around. Either way, I think this works really, really well. I like how everything works together to look good and work well as well and check off all those boxes. So hopefully this video helped you out with that decision-making process. You saw what types of features you liked and what you need. And that way you can get the best fit for you, your different types of bikes and your vehicle. And that was a look at the Kuat NV 2.0 two bike platform rack on our 2022 Tesla Model 3. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.